What is good guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about the uh, how to polish your artillery skill. When I talk about artillery, I want to talk mainly about the BM, the rocket truck and the howitzer. Many of you uh, I know are working on your units. You want to make them stronger because you want uh, the advantage on the battlefield you want to be able to destroy your opponent easier faster without taking too much loss so you you're going to focus on parts modification upgrades etc understand that everybody wants to be stronger right but the trick is with the artillery you don't need to upgrade that much your unit you should upgrade your technique your approach uh, against enemy all right so just a crash course on the artillery uh, the bm we all know that the the initial load time will be as short as two seconds if you have the right technology and the reload time will be six seconds okay why this is important <laughs> Because if you wait for your reload to engage a strong and slow target, you should rather disengage and re-engage the same target to always attack with your first load rather than waiting for the reload. It's quite simple. Everybody can do that. It's really easy. You don't need to practice. You just need to know how to move your unit, right? So this super heavy here, it's a strong target. You see two seconds. And the reload is six seconds. So if I re-engage, always two seconds, like that. You see? So I save. I save quite some time by moving and using the first load to save some time. Now, the demonstration wasn't as good because I moved too far away and I have to uh, come back, but you get the idea. Use the first load always with this unit. You use the mobility of the BM uh, to your advantage against a slow moving target, okay? The second trick I wanna show you, once again, it's not a trick, it's just common sense. Everybody can do it Everybody seems to be aware of that, but very few use that technique on the battlefield. And this will be about the howitzer. So I'm going to put the right officer pairing. It works best, of course, with maxed out Antonina. I'll do this instead. And max, uh, basically maxed out Antony works awesome. If you have another strong officer, assign it to your strongest uh, howitzer it works this way now with the howitzer it's quite different the initial load time is four seconds and the reload can up can be up to two seconds if you have the right parts modification and officer okay so basically you want to avoid well you can't avoid the first shot of course but you want to play on that reload to to keep the pressure on that target and demolish it right away and how it works is why you need to be careful is when you attack you see there's two things to consider there is the um, the countdown for three to one and at zero the attack will launch and there is also the the meter on the left, the little bar, that's the officer skill charge uh, countdown. Once this bar reach uh, is full, is filled, the officer skill will launch. So every eight seconds, sometime less if you have the, the, the right officer, but it doesn't matter here. So every eight seconds, this skill will launch. And why it's important? It's really important because this skill alone is strong enough, this attack alone is strong enough to defeat most of the weak armor and any artillery. Okay? So you can basically wait for the officer skill to charge, 
and release it on the proper target to one shot kill that unit. If you one shot kill that unit, it will have the devastating effect on the enemy and you can continue your business to other targets and by defeating the Hauser, which is the strongest unit on the battlefield, you make a lot of damage on the enemy, okay? You will slow down its attack, especially if they're gathering to burn your base. You may focus on the artillery rather than light tanks and, and stuff like that, okay? Makes sense so far, right? Awesome. So, but what if, and sometime, you know that the officer skill is a second away from launching and, and some players, they, they're ready to deal with enemy fire as long as the officer skill will launch and destroy their enemy. It's, it's a good compromise. You, you may lose one, two, maybe three units, but you will wipe out com uh, completely the enemy with that attack. So sometimes it's, it's worth waiting for this. But what if you don't have to wait, right? What if every attack on that specific unit is made by the officer skill? Wouldn't that be awesome? Well, you can do that. You just have to practice. And what I want to talk about is right there. So this is your typical march. You have one super heavy and two artilleries. And this is perf the, the, the perfect setup because the artillery can um, move away from slow units like the super heavy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge the attack on the super heavy. Boom. And see my officer skill charge. Boom. Just like that. So what I did is quite simple. I charge on the slow and, and durable unit. I can even destroy him. It doesn't matter. But when the attack is ready to launch, when the officer skill attack is ready to launch, I will re I will re reacquire, <laughs> reacquire that weak target I know I can destroy in one shot with only the, the two skills. If you have, of course, two officers um, under control of that unit. So this can be easily practice at home against Raven, against maybe an alt account. And when you master this technique, you can apply it on the battlefield, right? So I'm going to do once again, charge. And, the, and now I'm going to play with it. I'm going to wait. I'm going to move. I'm going to re-engage like I do with my BM. Okay. So now the, 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 the officer skills should launch. Boom. And the second one. There you go. Completely wiped out. And even if that unit was pre-charged, meaning that it was in combat, it didn't move since, and the enemy either retreat or it killed the enemy. So that that even if that artillery is pre-charged, the rule is if my attack, the attack always comes first, if my attack will completely wipe out this target, this target will not be able to fire back at me. So that's the rule. So even if you deal with pre-charge artillery you can attack them safely without taking either too much damage or no damage at all you will always defeat them so that's the trick to defeat a strong artillery when the range is the same because once you're within range you know what's going to happen but with this trick you will save a lot of reserves and of course you will deal more uh you will destroy more enemies right so and like I said, this is nothing new, right? You don't have to spend money to, to do that technique, to practice. You don't have to collect resources. It's completely free. So instead of focusing on your technology, well, you have to focus on your technology anyways, but this doesn't cost anything. 
right? So by polishing your skill, you become a better fighter, a smart fighter. Know how to what type of target to attack, when to attack. You just have to be aware of your surrounding. I know that when you will practice this first, many things on the battlefield, I mean, when you'll be dealing that on the battlefield, I know that many things happen and you will make mistakes. That's that's normal. It's it's part of the game. You learn from your mistakes and by getting better and better, you will improve your uh, kill to that ratio, help more your alliance and be a stronger fighter. Guys, that's it for today. I hope you <laughs> got everything. If not, feel free to contact me. You know how it goes. Guys. Have a great week and until the next video, see ya!